Welcome to Krokozuna Productions. This is part of an ongoing Jigeko series on how I approach sparring with students in order to maximize their improvement while also keeping myself sharp. So this is David Noonan, one of my oldest and most beloved students. He joined me in 2004, so we've been practicing kendo together for almost 20 years. It's crazy to think that when he started kendo, I was Yonda. Now he is a solid Yondan and he has expressed a desire to be able to pass the Godan test which he becomes eligible for within the next year. How do I approach this Jigeko? As you can see there isn't very much movement. The focus right now is for Dave to not dip his Shinai. This is a bad habit that has plagued him in the past and need to get rid of once and for all. Especially when he would dip right before his attack. Another habit he developed was to back up and dodge attacks by moving his head side to side. This is why I'm being very rigid in the center. The goal is to have him not back up from my pressure and to have him be bold enough to attack into my Kamai without dipping his own. Just like with any Godan candidate, I cannot make this part of his training easy for him. He has to know how to handle pressure, not back down from it, and to initiate his own against it. Another element that Dave is working on is to have his pressure originate from his feet and hips and not from his shoulders. To have a fluidity to his movement, which he does, but to then have that fluidity transfer to pressure and that pressure to flow into his techniques. Best way to develop this in someone is to challenge these aspects head on. In a sense to have effective jigeko with anyone is to identify what they need to be working on Challenge him in that aspect, but not make it an unsolvable puzzle. For me, this type of opponent does a lot to keep me sharp as well. It is definitely not easy for anyone to assert dominance on someone like this. It can be physically and mentally challenging. What I make sure to do are control my footwork and only attack when my feet are properly set and I'm asserting forward pressure. Not as a sign of superiority, but a sign of respect for this opponent. If he does not walk away feeling humbled, yet in a satisfactory manner, you have failed as his sensei. It is also important that when you do strike that it is clean and precise. Not sloppy, and just to tap him for the sake of sending a message that, hey, I can hit you. Why make it a message when you should really be striking him? Making that effort. You're working together and striving to elevate each other. All students do have different needs, but the higher ranked ones have very specific needs which tend to be less physical and more developmental. These needs must be identified and then addressed. At Koyokai we make sure that during our Jigeko sessions that everyone faces everyone and that everyone does Jigeko with the sensei. I feel as though that if the student made an effort to attend that is the least that we need to provide them. Thank you for watching. We hope that this helps and always remember to please like and to subscribe.